So what's up guys? I know, unbelievable, a new video by Damien Matthew. On this dead channel, who would have expected a new video to pop up? Today, I was looking at the shower glass and noticed that the glass edge was green due to its thickness. So looking through a thick piece of glass, it starts to turn green kind of makes sense. And then I was thinking about Blender and was like, wait a moment, does Blender glass actually behave this way? So let's check it out. First, we're gonna use the glass shader right here. It's basically the same as the principle, but to prove a point, I'll show you with the glass shader. We're gonna get this tasty green right here, desaturated to something like this, and you can already see that this is not behaving as you might expect. So if I desaturate it, it just turns gray. If I make it brighter, it's just hard to get the effect. So if I look through this thick piece of glass, um, it's the same color as the top. If I make this cube big or small, thickness does not matter. We all know that size matters, but in this case, thickness really does not matter. So now you might say, okay, the glass shader is really outdated. Let's use the principal shader. Issue is, it's the same issue. Take out the roughness right here. Scale this, not this, but this. And you'll always have the same color. I, I guess it kind of makes sense. So now let's desaturate this, make this white. We got this. And now I'll show you how to do it correctly. We can't just color glass like this. This is wrong. Thin parts are, are should be less red and thick parts should be more red, kind of like subsurface scattering. How do we do it? I'll show you right now. Volume. Absor ab absorption. Complicated word to pronounce. Plug this boy right in here, and now you'll color it by thickness. Now we're going to get our color, but actually I already have it right here. I already tweaked and picked the perfect color. And now we'll just add some density, density of five. And now you already see this is starting to look beautiful. Thin glass is clear. Looking through the edge, we get that thick turquoise as well as here. And now look at this monkey head. This is what glass looks like. Thin is clear, thick is yeah turquoise. And now if I scale up this cube, it becomes really green. Now if I make it tiny, it becomes less green. So this is how glass should behave. And I don't know why I never thought about this, but today I did. And yeah, I was basically doing it wrong all these years because I never really made a sheet of glass so I really like I never really encountered this effect I guess but generally anything made of glass should be done this way because this is how glass behaves and the standard translucent transparency color that's not how glass behaves so even if you do a red glass on a car rear light or even a headlight or really any glass a windshield a camera lens, like really any glass, should never be colored with the base color and should always be colored with a volume absorption. Am I right? That's it for today. A little video on making real, I guess to a certain degree, real glass, at least more real than using the base color. Yeah, that's what happens if you take a shower for once and look at glass while warm water is running down my back. Have a good day. See you in some months with a new video. Bye-bye, guys.